I think I'm a really good student because like, I've been following all of your teachings. I do this focus wheel every morning. And the last thing I did this focus wheel for was about the money. I know that I have a good relationship with money, but I do this focus wheel every morning, me and my wife actually, and we did it for the, the lottery last time. <laughs> I know that one day I'm going to win, I'm going to be prosperous, and I've been believing in that, but my question is, why is it not coming now? <laughs> or like, am I putting some resistance onto that? Or Let's see if we can figure this out. So, how many lottery tickets did you buy? Okay, I pay, I got how like many tickets did 40, you buy? 45. 45 tickets. And how many lottery tickets were in the mix? How many billions of lottery tickets were in the mix? So, do you have any feeling of odds or statistics in your vibration? I mean, I was an engineer, so I know about that. Oh, but... oh really? Oh, really? So, this very pragmatic engineer who knows the relationship between 44 and 4 billion. But I want to follow your teaching. I don't want to think about that statistics. Thing. Well, we want that too. We want that too. And we know that when you are thinking about it in the way that we know, rather than in this way, that then those thoughts will turn to things for you. But that's not the case yet. You're still thinking this way. Mm -hmm. So you haven't lined up with it. If you're going to buy a lottery ticket, you got to line up with universal assistance, not with the statistics or the odds you see. Do any of you ever buy a lottery ticket and say, this is a sure thing for me? Or are you at best hopeful? You got to go beyond hopeful. And you know what's beyond hopeful? Knowing or not caring at all. Knowing and not caring at all. Knowing that you're going to win or it being fun and a game and it not really mattering. Because those statistics are active in your vibrational experience. So. This was a discouraging conversation for so many of you. But what we're really saying to you is you can't attract outside of your beliefs. You just can't attract outside of your beliefs. And so you got to find a way of lining up with your desire and then your belief is not opposing it. And then so we've been talking to you all day today, all day yesterday, all day, any day that you're willing to gather and listen to us about how easy it is for you to win the vibrational lottery and the vibrational lottery means you've hooked up with the energy that creates worlds mm -hmm. and specifically anything that you want is focused upon by source and it is a sure thing that it will come to be not a statistical odds against you it is a sure thing that it will come to be but it does require looking at life in a vibrational way it does require understanding the way things work what do you think the odds would be if you were to go to the edge of the cliff there's one over here Esther likes to stand there and watch the hang gliders just float away what would the odds be if you didn't have your contraption and you didn't have a parachute and you didn't have an airplane what would be the odds if you just stepped off the cliff of your just floating away like the others what would be the odds zero because law of attraction will do the thing that it always does what we are wanting you to understand is that law of attraction is working for your good fortune. It is working for your prosperity, not against it. But your own beliefs, almost everyone, have been working against your own prosperity. And you can tell by the way you feel when you think about things like that. And you can tell by the way the words sound and feel as you speak them. In other words, it just sounds like the most incredible thing everybody's talking about the couple that won and they're yearning to be that but it seems like such an anomaly it seems like such an incredible iffy chancy risky anomaly but this stuff that we're talking about is not risky and it's not chancy it's sure once something has bubbled up and become a vibrational desire that you have realized it is a sure thing it's already so far along its progression that for it not to occur is ridiculous and the only reason that it doesn't occur is because you have these habits of thought and the only reason that you are willing to continue to project these habits of thought that are contrary to the desires that you hold 
is because you're willing to put up with not feeling so good yearning doesn't bother you well you should be soaring yearning should bother you it should feel awful to you to only feel hopeful hope in relationship to pure knowing oh no comparison whatsoever but you've just become accustomed to not feeling so good being a little angry being a little angry being a little depressed being a little discouraged being a little mad being a little blameful being a little guilty in other words you have felt so many of those things in response to the way that you're thinking that you've trained yourself into unnatural acceptance of unnatural vibration so that when somebody wins the lottery you go oh wow what an amazing remarkable freak of nature that is when everybody is winning the lottery all day every day do you know that your earth is spinning in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets that is such a good thing <laughs> and it's not accidental and it is for you you won big time lottery that your planet is stable do you realize how many things are working for you your physical body won the lottery won the lottery won the lottery and so as you're appreciating and basking and enjoying and practicing those thoughts that feel good then those thoughts that have felt natural to you those ornery thoughts that are blocking your well-being they'll stop feeling so natural they'll start feeling like what they are the reason that things aren't quickly moving for you you see and after you get a handle on this and you start predominantly feeling good and you find yourself choking on words that you used to say often because they're really out of whack with who you really are and you start allowing those magnificent vibrational thoughts to turn to magnificent see it hear it smell it taste it touch it things and others will look at you and they will call you lucky they will call you a freak of nature they will say how is it that everything nice keeps coming to you it's magical or it's lucky or it's freakishly lucky and you'll just say no no it's not it's natural it's who I am it's the vibration that I admit it's a natural law based experience it's me projecting something that the universe must match yeah another thing I promised my wife to ask this because it's otherwise she would kill me yeah well please so be it we've enjoyed this interaction <laughs> immensely immensely yeah. 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 Inside out, inside out.